This is Steve Pilloff from George Mason University. Let's take a look at an example. How much do you need in your account now if you plan to withdraw $10,000 per year? The first withdrawal is later today, so we got $10,000 later today. And the last withdrawal, again, these are annual withdrawals, is in three years, so in three years you're going to take out $10,000. The annual return. And so they're annual, so you're also going to have them in one year and in two years. And again, if you're going to withdraw money, you're going to receive it. So you get 10, 10, 10, and 10. The annual return for the account is 5%. So this is a question where we want to find the present value because we're going to be getting 10 today, 10 in a year, 10 in two, and 10 in three. And if we get the present value of that, then getting 10, 10, 10, and 10 is the same as getting the present value today, which by the definition of the present value is if we put that amount in and we earned 5%, 10, 10, 10, and 10 is how much we'd be able to, to, to have. So we want to find the present value. So getting 10,000 today is like getting 10,000. 10,000 in a year, 10,000 in two years, and 10,000 in three years. Add them all up, it's like getting 37,232 today, and that's how much we'd need in our account. So again, if we had 10,000 in our account today, we'd be able to get 10,000 in our account today. If we put in 9524 today and it earned 5% in one year, we'd get 10,000. 9070 earn 5% in two years, it'd be 10,000. 8638, 5% for three years, we'd get 10,000. And that's why 37232 would allow us to get 10 today in a year, in two years, and in three years. But we recognize in this case that this is an annuity due because there's four payments. They start today. They're every year. So we can go ahead and attack this using the financial calculator. So again, n equals four. We've got the four payments discount rate is 5%, payment of 10,000. We're going to get 10,000. We're in begin mode, so we know we're going to get 10,000 today, and then in one, two, and three years, because that'll get us four payments. Solve for PV. You get the opposite, so the present value of 10, 10, 10, and 10, starting today, is equal to 37,232, and that's what you need in your account today. Finally, just a little language help. These two annuity due questions are identical. How much you need in your account, your first withdrawal is later today, and the last is in three years. So you get today, three years, one and two, so you know there's four. Or if it says for four years, so you know there's four, and the first one's later today, so you know oh, later today, two, three gets me four. So in this example up here, you were given the starting and the ending, and so you got the number. Here you got the starting and the number, and so you could figure out the ending. These annuity questions are identical. Your first withdrawal is in one year, and your last withdrawal is in three years. So you have one, two, and three years, so you have a total of three. Or, therefore, you're making withdraw how much you need in your account if you're going to withdraw four three years and your first is in one year so you know you're going to start in one year and then there's three of them so then you must also have in two years and three years so you want to become very familiar and very comfortable with converting the language into a timeline into the number of payments when they start when they end how many there are um, because that's going to um, enable you to do um, good financial analysis